With the Amazon to Excel plugin, you can use specific Excel functions to, to bring back product information directly into Excel cells. So you're not just stuck with doing batch runs and creating a new sheet, you can embed Excel functions into your own spreadsheets and bring back the data. So let's have a look at exactly how we do this. There are lots of Excel functions and if you have a look on the website on the main page, there's a link to a list of Excel functions that you can reference. But to show you how it works, let's say we have a whole bunch of ASINs here. To embed, uh, let's say we want to bring back the product title, all we do is equals AZ and you'll see there's a whole list of functions that pop up. Um, and it's pretty simple, we just say T for title, once it comes up I'll press tab and then we just need to say where our ASIN is then it'll go away and bring back the product description. And then typical with Excel, we can just copy it down into the other, other cells in our spreadsheet. So each one of these is referencing the specific ASIN on the left. We can do the same with sales rank, package weight, it all works the same way. So here for sales rank, we do equals AZ sales rank press tab, there's the ASIN, and it brings it back. Package weight, AZ package dimensions weight, here we go. Let's have a look at the current buy box. Um, this will be called landed price. Uh, landed price will include the shipping. So we've got landed price, new buy box. If you wanted just the product price without shipping, you can use listing price um, just yeah, you'll see all the functions there you can play around with it we'll do landed price there's the buy box we'll make sure you uh, I guess I should change this so it so it brings it back into two decimals for some reason Excel just screws up I don't know why let's have a look we'll do there we go there's the buy box price referral fee so I'm able to bring uh, we'll write some functions to bring back the Amazon referral fee if you're, using, um, if you're selling through Amazon. So, you know, normal product to be 15%. Um, so here we have two options on referral fee. We can do referral fee like this, say ASIN. And then if we have a specific price, let's say £100 we're selling something for, it will bring back what the referral fee would be in pounds or dollars. If you if you want percentage, I've changed it a little bit. So if you put a zero there, it'll actually bring back the percentage figure. So in this case, it's 15 again. Not a very good example, was it? So <laughs> do, do zero to bring the percentage. Let's say it was $200. Then you can see it brings back 30 pounds. You get the idea. FBA fee, we can work out what the costs are if we're using um, Amazon to fulfill everything. FBA fees, there we go. Um, I can't remember if this needs a price or not. I'll press tab, no it doesn't. So that's one, one pound 70, that's the FBA fee. Um, and that's pretty much how you use it. And then you can just normal Excel stuff, bring it down here and it'll fill in the rest of the cells. Now, please bear in mind when you use this, do not have a spreadsheet with thousands of Excel functions in like this, because every time you save Excel or you're working, Excel automatically tries to update your function. So it's always trying to recalculate your functions. And because of this, if we change, let's say we change, change this one. I'll put it to an ASIN that just doesn't exist. But what it's going to do, it's going to try and recalculate all these. Now, if you did that to a lot of data, it's going to take time to actually, let's pop it back. It's going to take time to go away and bring back all that data from Amazon. It's making all these individual calls one at a time. So bear that in mind that if you have thousands of rows of data, every time you try and update your Excel file, it could take a long time. 